It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Nacho! It's the morning mess. It's time for your favorite prank calls. It's Nacho's Revenge. Can we say good morning to Serena? Morning! Good morning, you guys. Hi. Hi. We hear you need some revenge on the hubby, Justin. What's going on? Okay, guys, I need revenge on my husband, Justin. Okay. Uh, we were visiting his parents, and we were all talking about, you know, the Apple Watches, because his dad just got one. Mm -hmm. And I said, I've been wanting one for a while, but, you know, I'm kind of debating over if I want to spend a lot of money on the new watch. My mother-in-law looks at my husband and says, just buy it already. You make way more than her. Wow. That's rude. Yeah, just don't spend her money. You already make way more than her. So I was kind of upset because I make, you know, almost twice as much as my husband. Hey. Oh, whoa. Flex. <laughs> Never a problem in my book. Get it, girl. <laughs> right? I mean, I don't mean to sound like I'm bragging, but I'm just like, you know, after we left, I asked him, I said, why did your mother say that? Did she just assume that you make more money than me? And he said he didn't want her to be ashamed of him, so he lied and said he makes more money than me. Mm. So he's lying to his mama that he makes more than you. Yeah, she asked him a while back, and he said he didn't want to be ashamed. And I just thought, I don't know, I thought it's super rude, you know. I work my ass off. Right. And this is rude on so many levels. Like, why is your mother-in-law asking that question in the first place? Well, I mean, she shouldn't be asking that, but I just thought he should be defending me, not playing into some, you know. Your husband should have been back. like, Mom, you know what? She actually makes more than me, so there's no problem in that yeah. department. Yeah. Oh. Right. That'd and he, so he says to me, he's like, there's no point in telling her the truth now. Oh. And I don't want to call him out, you know, to his own mother. So I figured I'd call him out on your show. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> a great idea. In front of everyone else's mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the radio. Okay. So, yeah, that's the story. All right. So what um, are we thinking on this prank call? What's your idea? Okay, so my idea is I thought that you could call and pretend to be my boss or from payroll or something and say that I'm getting a huge pay cut because I think that'll freak him out a lot. Maybe he'll try to convince you I should keep the salary that I have now. So call from payroll and say you're getting a salary cut. Yes. Ooh. Salary. Yeah, sure. And that'll freak him out. I think so. Because then he'll actually have to pull his weight around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm with it. Let's freak him out. Let's make him think his wallet's empty. Yeah, he uses my credit card a lot. So, yeah, he'll be freaked out. Oh, oh my gosh. What color is that credit card, though? It's black. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> I love everything about you, Serena. All right, let's ruin your husband's morning and put him in his place. We got Nacho's Revenge. It's up next. Morning Mess. Okay, Morning Mess, in the middle of your favorite prank calls, Nacho's Revenge, we spoke to Serena. We became a quick fan of Serena. Listen, man, my girl's making money so much so her man is embarrassed to tell his own mom, her mother-in-law, that she's stacking chips right now. So, uh, Serena, you're out to dinner with the hubby and mother-in-law, and he let it be known that he let his mom know that he makes more money than you. Yes. She was telling him, go buy an Apple Watch. You're the one that makes all the money, more money than her. Yes. Now, I will say it's pretty normal for me and my family, I guess, for all of us to know about incomes and stuff like that. So that part didn't weird me out. It's more so like the lying that he's making, because if I were him, I would be super proud of the fact that I was married to somebody that's stacking them coins. Absolutely. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm stacking them. He's lied to his mom about him making more money than you, and he doesn't want to confess to his mom that you make more money than him. Yeah, he doesn't want to tell her, so. Okay. So you want to ruin his morning and put him in his place? Yeah, we do. Yes. Okay. So your idea is me calling that I'm from, like, uh, payroll at your work and letting him know that you're getting a pay cut, and that should pretty much freak him out. Oh, yes. A huge pay cut. Yes. That'll freak him out. All right. We ready? Yes. Here we go. Hello. Hello, may I speak to Justin, please? Uh, yeah, this is. Hi, Justin. This is Nacho Chavez from uh, your wife's work uh, from the payroll department. Do you have a moment? Uh, yeah. Okay, so Justin, unfortunately, there has to be some changes to the company, and there will be, uh, well, we're considering cutting your wife's salary. What? Wait, what? In half. What? Would, what? Who is this? This is Nacho Chavez, Nacho with two O's, from the payroll department, your wife's work. Oh, so wait. 
first of all, why are you calling me? What, what are you talking about? You're cutting what? I don't know what's going on. We're cutting your wife's salary. So if she made $10, we're cutting it to $5. Not that that's what she makes. What? She makes a very, very nice money. What but we're going to cut about? the... What? What are you talking about? I'm talking English. <laughs> Why are you calling me, first of all? Well, because obviously you're the man of the house, and you obviously hold more power in the relationship. You should know this because obviously you need to make the money decisions. I want your department number. I want your name. 7532. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me just tell you something, man. Okay. My wife, first of all, has worked for your company forever. And Ever, yes. Ass off. We understand yeah. that. And overpaid. <laughs> overpaid? Overpaid? Yes. My wife is overpaid. Yes. My wife sacrifices her ass. Mm -hmm. You guys. You still has some love. Dude, are you kidding me, man? Listen what? to me, man. What? It, dude, the, the amount of hours that you work, mm -hmm. sacrifices, 40. and you're calling, to, first of all, to tell me that you're going to cut her pay is inappropriate. And secondly, you're and now insulting me. And insulting How am I insulting wife? you? You are the man of the house. I am giving you a heads up. It doesn't matter. She's my yeah. wife. Right. Dude, what, what She's the wife of the house. Dude, Okay, you know what, man? You You're want to disappointed, know I get it. She should have done better. Listen, ever since women done started to better. wear pantsuits and voting and stuff, it's been downhill like giddy. Dude, are you serious, What? Man? Are you out of the 50s, you weirdo? Wait, <laughs> I just don't feel like she needs to make all that money for what? Like Sephora makeup brushes? I mean, come on. She does not need all this money. Dude, who f hired you? <laughs> His name was Todd. So listen, Justin, if you can convince me man to man, because we run the world, that your wife shouldn't get a pay cut and she should keep this high salary to what? spend on Playtex. High um, salary? Yes. High salary. You, do you know who she is? Do you know who yes. She, is? Dude, she earns... She, she could, Her name is she Serena. Could yeah, and she could easily take you out, okay? That's her position, all right? Okay. You don't take her out. She takes you out. She takes me out. Where are we going to eat? What? Oh, dude, you, you know what? I, I like what, Caesar. Like, you want to this? You want to this man man? The little toast, what, what, little steak let, and shrimp. I dare you to say this to my face. What? I dare you to say this. Okay, to my I'm gonna face. write it down. What do I say to your wife. face? Huh? Dude, are you out of your? Uh, dude, what I, am I gonna dude, say to your face when I meet you? <laughs> Would you say it already? What is going on? Who are you fighting over there? Listen, dude. You know what? What? I'm trying to write down. What do I say to your face? I'm I'm hanging up and I'm calling your boss. I want your boss. Why are you so uncomfortable with this? Are you insecure about your honey making all the money? No, no, I'm not. I'm proud of my wife. I'm insulted by the fact that you're insulting her. Are you insulting a woman with stacks of cash bigger than her assets? <laughs> what? Are you, oh my god, I want your boss's name right now! <laughs> Oh my God. He's punching air right now. Oh no. Hey, Justin, you're actually live on the radio right now, Justin. We're the morning mess. What? Oh, Hi, Justin. <laughs> Your wife, Serena's on the line. She put us up to this prank call. What? <laughs> Wait. Hey, Dustin, I hope your mom's listening. Oh, what the hell is going on? Well, babe, you didn't want to explain to your mom that I make more money than you, so I called the morning mass to put you in your place. There it is. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm John Favreau, host of Crooked Media's new weekly series, Offline with John Favreau. If you feel like the internet is breaking our brains, but you still can't put the phone down, this show might help. Each week, I'll be talking to people like Monica Lewinsky, Megan Rapino, Peter Hamby, and DeRay McKesson about all the ways our experience